all right guys welcome back to the channel man so today we are going to be feeding the thousand gallon pond as you see all the fishes i look at the bass ready to take my finger all right now look at the garami he ready to get hand fed oh 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 but yeah today we're gonna be feeding the thousand gallon pond because as you see they these boys is hungry i feed them every single day and they still want to eat it just never ends in between feedings of like like right here i got tilapia and shrimp in between those type of like high protein diets i feed them a lot of pellets too so these guys eat a lot a lot so we're gonna go ahead and feed these guys today and then we got some fish on the other side we got the giardini we got shorty mac the other red tail catfish and then we have um a couple oscars and some south and central americans that like shrimp as well so just gonna just go through and start feeding. It's probably be like a little raw uncut video that you guys really get to see these fish and really see them swim and uh, see what I see, man. Look at that cat. And I see a lot of people were saying like that I don't feed my fish. I, well, not a lot of people. We ain't gonna say a lot of people. We've seen some people saying I don't feed my fish. Like if y'all really knew how much I fed my fish. Look at this bass. <laughs> 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 Look at that cat. Jesus Christ. Man, if y'all seen how much I fed these fish, y'all be like, bro, you overfeed. Like, I feed a lot. Uh, when I feed in videos, it's kind of like what y'all see within like a 10-minute video. Y'all don't really see what I do behind the scenes as far as like the maintenance, feeding the fish, and keeping everybody healthy. Look at bass. This cat, man. He's just a beaut. Look at that bass, bro. I love these fish. Like, Super bummed that the guard gone, but I mean, I still got all this beauty in here to look at. <laughs> and I'm kind of teasing it right now. <laughs> that never gets old, y'all. Like, I feed the cat like a full half slice of tilapia. And then I got like some smaller pieces that I um, feed like the other fish and stuff. And then you got the clown knives, too. Even look at the Pat Pool Cafe. I don't know if you guys can see him. He has gotten so big. He's at least 17 inches. I remember I got dude. He was like this small. Um, so he had, oh, the bass just snatched it out of my hand. <laughs> I swear I love this. Like, I could do this every day, all day. Let's hear it. Come on, Red Tail. I want to pat him. Can I pet you? Hold on. You ain't going to eat my hand, are you? <laughs> Come back. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going to stop messing with you. Come on, get you another piece of shrimp. God, that never gets old, man. I love this red tail catfish. A lot of people was hating the last video. You know, it sucks that I have to, like, use those type of title and thumbnails to get people to watch the videos. But the people that really rock with me, you already know what it is. But we definitely did lose the gar, which sucks, man. But we can get more monster fish. It's not a problem. I just have to be cautious of the size of fish that goes in here. You know, certain fish that's small, like you got the red devil that just snatched that piece. You got the VA hive. You know, they can live in here because they hold their own. But like if a fish not eating or if it's a kind of a weaker fish, they can't live in here. They won't survive. And that's probably what happened to the, the guard is that um, he was just weak and they seen that and they picked on him. That's the only thing I could think of because... I mean, we got stuff smaller than, than the gar in here right now. Look at that bass, he got a piece of tilapia just in his mouth. He really don't eat too crazy. Once I give him one good piece of tilapia, he pretty much be done. Let's throw some more tilapia in there. See if we get them clown knives to come eat. They super dope. Shoot them clown night just as aggressive as anything else in here. And that cat obviously gonna eat whatever I put in here. No matter what it is. But he don't really eat live fish. That's why I was kind of, you know, lost when he, uh, if he did take the gar out, I was kind of lost by that because, like I said, I've never fed him anything live. Look at the clown night. Come on, Pat Pool, get you some too. The cat getting so big. I think when I measured the red tail catfish, when I put him in, he was probably like, um, probably like 23, 22 inches long. You guys can go back and watch that video. He was pretty big already. And he's definitely doubled in size since being in here. 
And, uh, you know, he still got plenty of room in this pond. This pond is huge, y'all. Like, I really wish y'all can really see how big this pond is, but it's definitely huge. See, everybody can trying to calm down now. I ain't see the ostrich come get none. They like a lot of pellets. You know, I put pellets in here. The ostrich come eat those. But I mainly try to feed the, you know, the cat, obviously. I got to feed him. I got to keep him full. But after he eat him about two or three big pieces of tilapia, he kind of slows down. But you can still see him sucking up at the bottom. I really want an arowana in here, though. Like, I got the Jardini. I mean, I want to put him in here. So maybe you guys can give me some suggestions because I've been kind of trying to think this out. I want to get the Jardini and Shorty Mac into this pond, but I want to try to build like a cage. Like if I can use like one of these squares, maybe over in that back corner over there and build like a small cage and the Jardini and the cat can live in that cage, but still be in the pond and then they can continue to grow. They probably have like a hundred gallons or more worth of room to swim in and they can continue to grow. And then once they big enough, I can just release them out to population. So. Give me some suggestions of what I can use to try to build something. I'll maybe think like some egg crate, build like a nice structure box out of an egg crate and put some mesh around that. Um, so that way water can still pass through, but they can't get out. Um, I'm still trying to decide on what um, I can do to get them in here. But I do have another pond, like I have a 120 gallon pond that I could put the Jardini and the cat in. The 570 gallon pond, um, I got that kind of saved for something dope. I, you guys got to wait for that. So I'm trying not to use that pond just yet. And it's not really um, ready to be set up at all either. So yeah, everybody kind of chilled out right now in the pond. Yeah, I just wanted to kind of feed the pond so you guys can see these fish in a natural element and see it from this angle, see it through the viewing panel. It's just, it's super dope. And I wish every last one of y'all was able to come to the crib and check it out in person, man. Like. Sometimes I'll just be sitting down here and be like, dang, I can't believe I got a two-foot red tail capping living in my house rent-free. <laughs> it's just crazy, man. It definitely is. He'll still keep eating, though. The bass probably done. Well, the bass only had well, one piece. He's still working on that one. The Garamis, they over there hiding in the corner. But I do want to add, like I said in the last video, I want to add more filtration on here. Um, just trying to decide on what type. I got like three different types of filtration that's playing over in my head that I want to either put on here. Because I want to be able to add plants to this because that's the problem with like the pond is that I don't have any plants in here to help suck out nitrates. You know, so it's like I can tell in the pond when the nitrates is high or the ammonia is high because the fish are either swimming a little funny or they gasping a little bit more. So I can tell when the nitrates are high, like over in the fish room area where all the tanks are, I run a lot of plants from the pothos to a lot of plants inside. So I don't never have any nitrates problem, no spikes in the aquarium at all. But here I do get some of that every now and then because there's no plants sucking out nothing. All we have is just our filtration. So I need to figure out a way to get some plants into this pond. Um, Maybe you guys can give me some suggestions because the Garami will not allow me to have much. Um, but I just need some ideas um, because I'm afraid if I even just put the roots in the water, he's going to eat the roots. So and then it's just going to kill off the plant. So we still got to figure out some things. But that's why I got you guys. You guys can give me some suggestions. You might be thinking a little deeper and farther than I am. Oh, the bass just took another one. He must have worked the other piece down. He has gotten so big, y'all. Like, I don't even understand how big he got. The Oscars breeding. I think it's time to take the Oscars out of there, low-key. Time to take the Oscars out because they is just doing the most. And we're trying to get them into, like, 120 gallon or, like, a 180 or something like that and get them to breed in there. But, yeah, you see the fish has um, pretty much died down. I ain't going to sit here and drag this on. Let's go over here and feed the Jardini, the short body red tail then we got some oscars and we have some south of central americans over there that like to eat shrimp as well so let's take care of that and uh that'll be in the video all right so we made it on this side of the fish room and as you see everything is looking good as it should just another day oh i forgot to tell you guys um noticed some fry in here yesterday i don't see them right now but i'm sure if i was to feed them they would start coming out but these gold dust mollies had some babies seen about 10 of them in here swimming but they're probably hiding up inside the rocks and behind some of that brush um, but that's exciting 
that we already got some babies. I only had these guys less than a week. I've been feeding them a lot of high protein and, you know, changing their water. And then, boom, there you go. We got some fries. So that's always an exciting thing. Over here, I did get somebody to ask me about this tank. Um, it was asking me, does this Oscar that's in here or the chocolate cichlid bother these angels? And no, I haven't had any problems with that. Um, granted, the Oscar is still pretty small, and he's not a mean at, at all anyways. They got a mouthful. I was just feeding them some shrimp off camera. Look at this leaf fish trying to nibble on some shrimp. He's definitely to put on some size. Since I, come on, angel fish, all in the camera. You got a little black spot on your nose. That's pretty cool. I, I guess that's my first time noticing that. But yeah, no problem with the Oscar. He's going to be coming out of here, going to a new setup. Small, everything in here is coming out of here. And this is going to be a discus tank. So um, no aggression. Just to clear that up. I know a lot of people be having questions about different stuff. Get the electric blue card down here looking good. <laughs> Everybody hungry right now. I'm going to feed them off camera. Sore tails. A lot of people were asking about the sore tails in the last video. Definitely a dope little fish. But I'm actually going to turn these lights off on this side of the fish room because I want to show you guys um, this tank right here. Let's see if we can get a good shot of it. I got our starry night in here. So I just put a bunch of fish in here that you guys probably haven't even seen. Uh, in a long time. So we got our starry night in here Looking good. Let's throw some shrimp in here matter of fact, and we'll see if we can get some of them guys to come out We got our green tear We got this nice Texas cichlid that we just put in here Nice big one. I've had him for a long time. Uh, I just put this fire mouth in here That I've had for quite some time as well. The glare is bad let me turn this other light off down here. Help with the glare. I know some people are like, oh, I don't care about the glare, but it still bothers me when I'm trying to show y'all the tanks. Well, yeah, we got the fire mouth in here, looking good. And then we added then these two beautiful Jack Dempsey's that I've had for a couple years now. They were all outside in the pond. So I move these guys in here, they looking good. And there's another Texas cichlid back there as well. So all these fish are going to be going to a bigger home here very soon. Um, I wish I could put these guys in the pond. Oh, I wish I could put these guys in the pond, but it's kind of hard to do so. Because they just a little too small to go in that pond. Look at that pike, though. I love that pike. It's pretty cool. African tiger. I said African tiger, <laughs> African jewel, cichlid. Nice little Texas, looking good. But yeah, so that's what's going on in this tank. Just added a few more fish in here. Put a little terracotta pot, some more wood, and they all coexisting together, no aggression right now at least <laughs> let's go ahead and feed these dudes down here let's feed shorty mac man let's get you nice and fat shorty don't be scared come out to the front oh i just missed it the jardine just snatched one i wouldn't even trying to um catch him i was trying to get the dang cat on camera he didn't hit oh there you go there you go shorty mac everybody love you i love you too i try not to overfeed shorty mac because he be uh spitting his food out a lot and be throwing it up so i really try not to overfeed him too much let's see if we can get this jar to eat a little bit more And like I said, I would love to get these guys in the pond into like a cage or something like that. Um, but it's just, I got to figure some things out. But you guys can give me some suggestions down below. It's going to be pretty much it. Just wanted to feed a few fish, feed the monster pond, show you guys all these new fish that I put into this tank, man. So 
hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did make sure you hit that like button make sure you guys subscribe to this channel and turn on your post notifications so you can get notified when i drop more videos i'm out of here